So folks, today I want to re review the house on Mango Street by Sandra Cisneros. Alright? Cool? Just park in the middle of the road here. Anyways. Wait, wait. So, let me tell you, get my exposure here, people trying to creep up around me. This book is, The House on Mango Street is one of the most beautiful books I've read in a while. Really, 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 uh, just... It, 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 it just flows and it's it's meaningful and you know it's a they say vignettes and uh, I don't know I like these really really small chapters and I think that's how I write uh, it keeps my attention so there's these little small beautiful uh, chapters or vignettes that tell a story tell their own story as they build through uh, the story of, of Esperanza the character in my book the name of the character in my book is the name of the character in this book so that's kind of kind of cool I actually wrote I don't know she'll ever respond but uh, I hadn't even read it yet and I was like I'm a fan I'm a fan of Santos Cisneros like I I'm gonna read more of her books I know it and I knew I was going to love fucking House on Mango Street. Sorry for that word, but I can't help myself sometimes. I knew I was going to love it. And so I wrote her and I told her that I just discovered her. I'm probably going to be a fan. I'm probably going to love her work. And I just got the House on Mango Street. And I was like, are, are you the one a lot though? Because a picture next to this little thing where you fill out a picture, you know, all you can see is the side of a building and the sidewalk, but it looks like Guanajuato, Mexico, right? It looks like the capital city, Guanajuato, Mexico. I swear to God, and I swear to God, if she's been living in Guanajuato this whole this whole time and throughout these years that I've lived there and visited, that'll blow my mind. So she didn't write me back, but we'll see. Anyways. The story is a, it's, it, it's, it is a story, it's not a story, but it's about a girl who grows up in a house on Mango Street, Mango Street, however, however you want to say it, and it's well written, and it's so small, and, uh, you know, I, I've been kind of ashamed that my books aren't like, fucking Hemingway thick, all right, you know, Count of Monte Cristo, but Don Quixote, but people like what I've written so far, because it's so, because it's so brief, right, my nonfiction stuff, this book, it's like 100, 120 pages, I can't look right now, and they're not even full pages. So, this is a award-winning book. And it's such a small uh, amount of content there. Like, my book will be... My first fiction piece of fiction will be this thick, right? It will be the same thickness as this book. Now I got a red light. It will be, it's 110 pages. My book will be about 110 pages, maybe 120. And it will be full content. There's not going to be all this white space. So I, I feel good. I feel good about the amount of, I don't have to write these big ass thick books. I can get everything I need into a book. 
Anyways, I don't have a lot to say except that this is a beautiful book. Like the last thing I read that was, oh, The Diving Bell and Butterfly, right? The Diving Bell and Butterfly is even smaller than this. And that was just, that's a good one. I don't even want to talk about that one right now. Anyways, The House on Mango Street, Sandra Cisneros. It gets five out of five tamales, son. Five out of five tamales. It's just a beautiful words, beautiful little story, all these little stories within the story, and the words just flow. Uh, you know, it's fiction, it's literature, but you know that this is from, that this is her experience. And she's telling a story that, it's a combination, just like a lot of my stuff, is a combination of or every writer's stuff, in their novels, you'll, they'll disclose a lot about themselves. Oh, also, this is a big thing. This is a big deal. This is a big deal. And this is how I get inspired. This is how I got inspired to write my story, my last story, 25,000 words in 25 days. I cannot stop thinking about my own book based on House on Mango Street, a new one. I wrote the introduction to it yesterday, right? And I can't stop the, the uh, in between like dreaming last night, I thought of more and more stories. I have my own story to tell. It's not on Mango Street, it's on 102nd Street. And I gotta start writing it. I gotta start writing it. It'll, it, it won't be fiction, it'll be a memoir. A memoir of 102nd Street I give it. It's gonna be the address. I'm not even gonna, the title. I give you the title. The title's gonna be 1255 West 102nd Street. And then the subtitle may be something like Memoirs of a Chicano Boy. I hate that word Chicano, but it's accurate, right? It's a description. Of, or I can say Mexican American, but. stories of my childhood and living in that house and they're true stories they're not made up maybe I can turn them into little fantasy stories but I like them. I wonder I'm gonna put them down and I'm gonna see how many how many words I can get so that would be a great 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 book fun fun to write anyways I'm getting distracted. This is book review. The House on Mango Street. It's it's great. It's beautiful. If you are uh, Mexican American in any way, you'll love this book. You'll love it. If you're a Mexican American woman or girl, you really, really will love this book. I loved it. All right.